Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Disney's Up inspired project. This idea isn't completely my own. I did find it on Pinterest, but I did make it my own by making it more my color scheme in my apartment. So it's not as, I guess, tacky looking as the one that's on Pinterest. You can find it on Pinterest and you'll know what I mean. But anyways, Without further ado, let's get into this video. So to start this project off, I have the materials here. You're going to need a picture of a house that you're going to want to use for this project. You're also going to need some paint. I just have three colors and I'm going to mix them to make a gradient that I want. You're also going to need a hot glue gun, a paintbrush, some scissors to cut out your picture, and of course, press pens. To start off, I went into Google and I searched for a house silhouette. You can pick any house that you really want. It's still going to be reminiscent of Up. I just picked this plain little house and then I'm going to copy and paste this by right clicking the image, clicking on copy image and then opening Word and then I will right click again and paste the image in just a minute. So once I have the image onto Microsoft Word, I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit because it was quite big even though I'm using quite a large canvas for my project. After I do that, I go into File and I hit Print. And then I have my printer already set up so I'll just print that there. Once you print out your stencil, you're just going to want to cut out the inside of the house. Uh, and then I cut out one of the windows to use as a placeholder for something that I did later. And for me, I picked red, white, and black because I wanted kind of a pink and gray gradient. And those were the colors that I had on hand. So I ended up just squirting it onto my canvas because I knew the canvas was going to need a lot of paint but I think I went a little too heavy-handed on the paint as you will see in the following clips. So I want to point out that this canvas I think is about 11 by 14 inches if I'm not mistaken or it's 18 by 20. I don't remember. I took the packaging off and I didn't really look at it but what I'm doing here is just kind of smushing the paints together I have white throughout the hole and red throughout the hole and then I kept black on one side so that when I'm mixing the paints I can have gray on one side and pink on the other. This whole process for me was quite messy. I wouldn't recommend the amount of paint that I squirted all over. But I'm also not an artist, so I wasn't quite sure what would be best for this technique that I was doing. And if you mess up, you can always take off the paint and kind of restart, which is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just wiping off extra paint and then I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the white and the red to get rid of some of the harshness of the black. In the end, I was quite pleased with how my canvas turned out, even though I'm not the best at painting. Uh, and bringing what is in my head to life.
And once you've finished, I'm almost finished here, uh, you're going to want to let the canvas dry. It'll just make it easier when you're working with the pennies to see uh, about placement and where you want your pennies to be. So before I started gluing, I just wanted to show you the pennies that we got from our trip. I think the only full set that we actually ended up getting was the Star Wars set that I showed at the beginning of the clip. And these are just pennies that we liked. We weren't really looking for sets, but when my boyfriend saw the set, he just had to have it. So now I'm on to placing the pennies down. You're basically shaping your pennies to kind of look like all of the balloons that are holding up the house and up. And I like to kind of map them out first so that I know I'm not going to run out of pennies and that the shape of my balloon is the way that I want it to look. And I also didn't want to leave any pennies out as well. So once I finished that, I decided I was going to paint my house on and I'm just taping it down with some princess tape. And I also taped the little window down. I would recommend just using tape for the window, like just cut a piece of tape the size of the window and use that because the paper was a little too flimsy for my paint. But it worked out anyways because I ended up painting over that window with some white paint. And I took mine off right away. I didn't wait for it to dry. And that's what I mean by I would have used just tape if I really wanted that window to look sharper. But I'm going to paint it something different anyways. The struggles of having animals and DIYing. Anyway, so I have some white paint there and I'm just painting a heart over where the window was on my house. I just thought it would be cute and I'm going to put some gold on that heart as well. Probably just outlining it. You can see my dogs eating in the corner there. <laughs> but now that I have the glue gun hot and ready, I'm going to start gluing my pennies down. This is basically the last chance of moving any pennies around. And I started from the top, that way I can keep my shape as I go down and if I move my pennies at all, I'll still kind of be able to know where that shape is. If you're wondering what that flickering is up at the top, that's just my cat. It's it's pretty much my struggle. Anytime I'm doing anything, my pets just want to be there. They're trying to support me, but they really just get in the way. Another thing I wanted to point out as I'm doing kind of the edges is if you do the edges first, you can kind of pull out those pennies in the middle to leave you space to put in the pennies and that will just kind of make it easier so you remember kind of the arrangement that you wanted to have. And I'm also trying to leave a little bit of space in between my pennies so that I can draw in the cords of all the balloons because of course that is how the balloons are holding up the house is with some rope.
In order to find pennies that you haven't glued, you can also kind of rub your hand over your pennies and that will help you find which ones aren't already glued on. I noticed that my white heart was a little bit translucent, so I'm just going over that with some more white paint. So to finish off, I'm just taking a gold paint pen and I'm going around the heart just to add a little bit of gold detail and I also put B plus N in the heart, kind of reminiscent of how Ellie puts Ellie and Carl on their mailbox. And now I'm just taking a regular pencil and I'm drawing a line from the chimney to all of the balloons, similar to the way that they do it in the movie Up. And here is the finished product. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I think it's such a nice way to display all of the pennies. And now I have it hanging in the hallway. So every morning when Naja and I get up, we can look at all of the awesome pennies that we got on our trip. So if you guys liked this video and you want to see more in the future, don't forget to subscribe. And if you did like it, then give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one.